I see that your your mind is spiraling in never-ending circles of what if and doubt. You know, you're not in as bad of a place as you were here, but you're not as in good of a place as you are here. You're still hanging on to a lot of um, nightmares. Your imagination is just running wild. You're, there's addictions. You're addicted to- Hi, Libra. This is Libra. January of 2021, month ahead tarot reading. This is Libra, month ahead tarot reading. It's timeless. Whenever you find this, it, it's yours. But it's going to be, it's done with the intention of January of 2021. Uh, this is Libra career tarot reading for January of 2021. Libra love tarot reading for January of 2021. Libra life path tarot reading for January of 2021. Libra month ahead tarot reading. So we're going to be using the Golden Girl Tarot. We're going to look at your future from the lanai. And we're also going to be using my hand written deck. There's 200 handwritten notes here that I've collected. Two of them will cuss you out. So if you get cussed out, you deserve to be cussed out because it's very rare for you to get cussed out. I have had one couple get cussed out. So I'm not going to hide it, but there's only two out of 200 that'll cuss you out. Most of them are, are real positive messages. Libra, I get lost in your eyes. I get lost in your eyes. This is the Golden Girl Tarot. Libra, January of 2021, month ahead tarot reading. Two more for career, please. Thank you. Well, you know what? The cards here work to be really good, but the way you're going right now, it's not. I need three cards for Libra relationship in the month ahead, January 2021. Two more cards for Libra's relationship, January 2021. Two more cards for Libra's relationship. Thank okay. you. One more card for Libra's relationship. Okay. Two cards for Libra's life. Two cards for Libra's life. Two cards for Libra's life. I need two cards for Libra's life, please. Two cards for Libra's life. Thank you. So let's go into the mirror. And this is the best part. This is when we actually do the reading. I noticed that a lot of people put buffering here, but you shouldn't. When you hear me sing, that's when it's about to get good because that's when we're doing the reading. So let's go in the mirror. Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Yeah, what we did before is we just picked the cards for Libra month ahead. Now we're actually going to read them. So I get lost in your eyes. I see in your career there's a missed opportunity. It could have brought you real happiness. Real happiness, real emotional fulfillment, but you missed this opportunity because of blocked or repressed emotions. And I see in your relationship things aren't growing. Things aren't maturing the way they should be. But you know what? But the cards are here. The cards are here and they're here right now. So there's some changes that you can make right now that will open up the way forward. Because right now I can't uncover anything else until we open up the doorway and make it possible. Let's learn from the past. 
in your career? So in your career, I see that you're forgiving, you're moving on, but I feel like you're you're releasing pain. There was a lot of heartbreak here. There's a real dark time in your career that caused you some very painful lessons. But, you know, this helped you to grow. This helped you to achieve. This helped you to better communicate. And I feel like you're forgiving. You're moving on in your career. But there's some blocked or repressed emotions. This heart, this heart, this was a really dark time. You know, Stan just left you. Stan just left you. He had an affair. That hurt. That hurt you to the core. Your mother's aging. You had no choice. You had to put her into Shady Pines. You're moving. You're moving to a place that nobody knows you. It's a really dark time in your life. And you're really sad, but I feel like you are releasing pain. You are moving on here. You have to really, right now, allow yourself to express your emotions to feel, to feel, to feel. You're you're starting a brand new spiritual journey. It's a new love affair. Something good is happening right now. But you have to be able to express yourself. There's depression. There's depression that's holding you back from getting your cup of love. From reaping the rewards. Yeah, I see that this depression is really holding you back. There could be financial loss, um, even unemployment. But instead of looking at it as a negative thing, oh no, I'm unemployed, oh no, I have financial loss, look at it as a stepping stone. Because why value something that you don't have to work for? If you don't work for it, it's not valuable. You need to put in the hard work and value quality, not quantity. And I see that you are going to have the Midas touch and you will have success. You ha will have victory. You will have that coin right on your lap in the future. You need to unblock this by getting in control of your emotions, by conquering your depression by not cutting corners, by working really hard, harder than you've ever worked before, and you will reap the benefits. It is going to come in, and you will just rain down gold once you let go of this block. In your relationship, things aren't growing right now. Why aren't they growing? I mean, right here we see that there was that betrayal, that divorce, that heartache. And it really affected your career. You know, when Stan did this to you, it really affected your career. But I see that you've come full circle. You know, this is dark. This is really dark. Dorothy's in a really dark patch right here. But Dorothy has overcome. Dorothy has lost weight. Dorothy has really glowed up. There's a glow up here. Look how fat Dorothy is back here. And now Dorothy has had a glow up. Has come full circle. Has graduated. Is in such a... A better headspace. Dorothy's in such a better headspace now. And has really conquered this. Really conquered this. Had come full circle. Now Dorothy can start something new. But right now I don't see that happening. I see that work isn't being done. There's laziness. You really need to plant these seeds and allow it to have an incubation period in order to grow. You can't rush this. The empress takes the empress's time and grows something long lasting. Some grows a planet. 
grows a planet. You'll you'll be able to have your relationship thrive, but you have to give it space and time. You can't rush this. You can't rush this. You're in a much better headspace now. You can't rush this. It will grow if you give it time and space. You have the potential of real happiness, and I get lost in your eyes. I see that your your mind is spiraling in never-ending circles of what if and doubt. You know, you're not in as bad of a place as you were here, but you're not as in good of a place as you are here. You're still hanging on to a lot of um, nightmares. Your imagination is just running wild. You're, there's addictions. You're addicted to drama. You're addicted to drama. It's just, you'll never be happy unless there's some sort of drama. And you need to really uncover that secret about yourself. Dive into your subconscious mind. Have this glow up, shine bright. And I feel like... It's going to get you to where you need to be. The next step is the sun. Where it, the sun has risen and it's a new day. The stars come out before the sun. The morning star. The moon. And then the sun. Happiness. Use your intuition. Don't allow this to control you. Don't allow this con to control you. Don't let Stan, money, don't let money bags over here control your life. Value quality, not quantity. Take your time and work for things. And it will blossom and you will be in a power seat. But if you cut any corners, if you try to do this the easy way, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, see, right here, you're trying to be lazy. You're trying to rush this. You're trying to do everything yourself instead of working as a team. You're... You, there's a lack of focus. There's a lack of focus. You need to take your time and you need to build this the right way. You need to obsessively work on things. You can't allow this to just sit a project undone. You have to finish it and if you need help, feel free to call for help. Help will be there and you can make something beautiful. You can make something beautiful and really change the action going forward. There's going to be success here. You're obsessively working on this. If you don't, then nothing's going to happen. And you're going to have heartbreak. You're going to have financial loss. Or you could have financial gain on a massive scale, bigger than you could have ever dreamed because you put the work in. You realize that it takes time. You have to do things very slow. You know, this is very conflicting with who you fundamentally are as a Libra. This is very conflicting with who you fundamentally are. Right here, we're totally in your energy. A little heartbreak. Eh, I can get through that. No biggie. Right here, the world, you know, lasting success, moving on, coming full circle, ending the cycle. Eh, all right. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, it's a little uncomfortable, but. We can get there. Here, here, where you're obsessively working on something and not giving up, that's hard for you because you like change and it's really boring to sit there and do a multi-layered cake. That's, that takes a lot of time, a lot of tenacity, and that's not just, that's just not who you are. You just, you want 
you want it quick. You want to conquer this game, win this game, and move on to the next. Because it gets boring if you have to play it too long. I mean, you want to play it. Whenever you put in Super Mario, you want to learn how to get to the princess. You want to play the game. But if it takes too long, you're like, okay, I'm bored. I want to go play something else. I, I, I've seen enough of this. I see that there's a lot of temper tantrums, delays, being overly sarcastic, being a mean old lady and beating people with that stick. I mean, you're just a mean old lady. You're just so sarcastic. It's just awful. Nobody wants to be around you. That's why you were thrown into Shady Pines. Because, Ma, I can't take you right now. Stan just left me. I'm upset. I've gained weight. I'm no longer young. I'm no longer beautiful. And I can't take you right now. That's why you're going into Shady Pines. That's why you're going into Shady Pines. Because you're overly sarcastic. You're rude. You throw temper tantrums. We can't be that way, though. I mean, this is this is Sophia. Look how beautiful she is. How could you treat Sophia like that? I mean, this this is somebody who's very beautiful, who wants to bring people together, who has everybody's best intentions at heart. Yeah, she has a very unconventional way of doing things, but if you have a little bit of a sense of humor, you'll see that Sophia's heart's really into in it. Like, she really does care. She really does love you and wants you to prosper. You can't you need to change your perspective on this. You need to change your perspective on this. And don't, where do I want to take this? I mean, she wants things to be exciting. She wants movement. She wants movement here. When we have the Empress and then we have the Queen of Wands, which I always feel is Leo. I feel like the sun is here. The sun is here. There's happiness here. I feel the sun here and I feel happiness. The next step after the moon is the sun. Right here, the coin is coming at me like the sun. The cup is coming at me like the sun. And the queen of wands is coming at me like the sun. And this is all coming at me like the sun. So I feel like there's going to be happiness in your future. But you have to make some adjustments. You can't be lazy. You have to work on things. You have to work on things. And in your relationship, I get lost in your eyes. The attraction is there. You know, the attraction was never lost. I feel like there's a glow up coming. There's a massive glow up coming. This is all Dorothy. We have Dorothy, 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 Blanche, Sophia. So there, there's a whole L shape of Dorothy. That... You know, Stan, when Stan cheated on Dorothy, that was hard. And Dorothy went through a dark period. And it affected Dorothy's career. But Dorothy came full circle in her relationship and ended that cycle. That's now over. And now Dorothy's sitting and starting a new cycle, a new phase in Dorothy's life. There's a new phase that's coming. And secrets are coming out. And Dorothy's glowing up and learning to follow Dorothy's subconscious mind, learning, learning to self-validate, self-validate. And then after all of this, after this lesson is learned, that's when Dorothy, the next step is the sun where that new comes in that's going to be very happy and emotionally fulfilling. And Dorothy has friends along the way in Dorothy's life. But Dorothy has to take time and work as a team, obsessively work on things, bring people together. Don't allow temper tantrums to get in the way. You know, get a different perspective. Love is the basis of everything here. 
All right, the way that you're currently going, the final outcome is a broken home or marriage. The final outcome is a loss of something that's very emotionally fulfilling. And it could be in your career because we started the cups journey here and then this is the end of the cups. But if you make these adjustments that I told you to make, then this is what you're going to have. Long-term happiness and stability, um, joy, emotional fulfillment. You're going to have it all. You begin it here, and then you end it here in your life. So you're going to get the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You will get, this is the beginning of the cup's journey. And you're going to end the cup's journey and you're going to sit in a power seat of stability. So you have to think outside of the box and don't let depression get you down. You have to fight through this depression right now or you're not going to get this in the month ahead. It'll be bad. You could have good or you could have bad. It's all up to you right now when you read, when you watch this. You need to make these adjustments. And if you do, I see a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow where you're going to have the Midas touch. And everything you touch can and will turn to gold. And in your relationship. I see that there's going to be a pot of gold, but you have to work on yourself first. You have to work on yourself first, and then you're going to get this. This is the next step. This is what comes next. But you have to work on yourself first, and you have to truly want it. All right, I feel intuitively done. Thank you for joining me. Libra, if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. I do do daily short videos. I have playlists. Um, I have a playlist specific to Libra, and I actually will link it above and also on my end screen. You can also find it by going to YouTube, search Enchanted Mirror Tarot, scroll down, you're going to see Aries, Taurus, Gemini, um, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and then you'll see Libra start here. That's your playlist. I've done over a hundred videos in the month for you so far. So they're all there. I put all of the, like, I, I update it out daily and I move things around. And I put all of the newest long form content that's high quality at the very top. And you'll see, like, relationship reading. So if you're a Libra dealing with an Aries, that's in there now now. I did it as a long form video and I also did a short. So I also did Libra's relationship with in shorts no longer than 60 seconds. Those are all in your full your playlist as well. When you scroll down that's going to be all of the short videos that are no longer than 60 seconds as well as any live stream replays that I've done specific for the zodiac sign of Libra. So I highly encourage you checking that out and um you know, there's something in there. All of those are timeless readings. There's compatibility readings. There's the month ahead relationship readings. There's your full year of 2021 is in there. I have it as the second video. Um, the first video is me just welcoming you to the playlist. And then the second video is going to be your full year uh, tarot reading. And then I'm going to move things around. And this is going to be the third video. This is January. And then in February, I'll move this down to the middle of the playlist. And I'll move up February's to the top. So that's, you know, I go in there and I organize it every single day. And I do do daily short videos for the Zodiac sign of Libra and all other zodiac signs. Those are no longer than a minute and you can find those on my homepage as well. So I encourage you to check that out and if you like my channel and like to see more, consider subscribing. I do have pick a card readings and playlists. Instead of doing one video, I actually put it into themed playlists and I add videos to it periodically so they build up over time. I have a playlist with almost personal readings and you can just pick your reading. I have um, all of the relationship compatibility shorts in a playlist. I have a playlist with quick yes or 
or no that aren't zodiac specific. I have who am I going to marry, pick a card. There's a lot there. You would just go to um, YouTube, search Enchanted Mirror Tarot, and then you would go to playlist tab and that's where you can find all of the playlists i have a lot of themed playlists and i plan on making more and i do have some traditional pick a cards that are all in the like five piles in one video that i have time stamped um those are in a playlist with pick a card readings i did those back in may um so they're they're kind of old and i've done like thousands upon thousands of videos so finding them in my videos tab is not going to be cool so you're going to have to go to playlist or you won't be able to find it at all that's just that's just how my channel works i keep adding daily and i do all 12 signs so that my video tab is just a, a just a, a mess it's a mess so go to playlist and i've been doing this for four years so i've been here for four years and it's just yeah you just trust me and go to the playlist that's how you have to navigate my channel if not you'll get so lost all right, thank you.